This is Mrs. Alexander and this is your 515 front load identifying bacteria using biochemical test. This is a pretty short front load. The EOC and the class needs you to understand how doctors use the results of tests such as biochemical tests and flow charts to determine what genus and species of bacteria has been grown on a plate and plaguing their patient because it's very important to know what type of genus and species of bacteria you have so we can figure out what type of antibiotics. We've already talked about gram staining. Gram staining is the first test that will be ran, but after gram staining is established, then they'll do a variety of biochemical tests. Please note that biochemical tests are the most definitive way to identify bacteria. They determine what type of metabol metabolic processes are occurring and then a metabolism of the different bacteria. Depending on the results, we can go through a flow chart and figure out what type of bacteria is grown. There's a link at the bottom that you can actually go through and look at more specifics about each type of bacteria. But understand that a biochemical test, there's a bunch of different varieties, and we're going to use flowcharts to determine. We determined that Anna Garcia's bacteria was gram-negative bacteria. We thought we found that it was Serratia marcescens based off of the colony morphology. We're going to use the results of the following biochemical tests to determine if it was, in fact, Serratia marcescens. This chart right here, along with the next chart, show the results of Anna Garcia's biochemical tests. There's a variety of tests that doctors run on different bacteria, including glucose fermentation, lactose fermentation, citrase tests, VP tests, indole tests, oxidase, H2S, catalase, nitrate reduction, motility. You don't really need to know the specifics of each of the tests for this class. You just need to know how to use results given and a flow chart to determine what the results show. So let's start with gram-negative flowchart. Here you can see that there's a gram-negative flowchart, and this flowchart shows that we're going to start with the oxidase test. So if you go back to the first page and you look at Anna's oxidase test, excuse me, second page, it says that her oxidase test was negative. So we're going to come down here under oxidase and we're going to go to negative. The negative results say go to the next flowchart under the family Enterobacteriae. We are not going to go to the positive side, which shows Aeromonas and Vibrio and shows how to flow that direction because it's not going to be any of those types of bacteria. It's simply going to be in the Enterobacteria family. So let's go to the next chart. The next chart shows that the next test we need to look at the results for is the lactose fermentation. So if we go up here, Anna's lactose fermentation results show a negative test. Back to the flow chart. Lactose fermentation negative shows that we also need to continue on to the next flow chart, which is the next page. We're not going to go to the positive side, we're going to go to the negative. It brings us to our third and final flow chart. This third final flow chart is for any of the bacteria that are found in the intro bacteriase category. It's any of these. So the third test that we're going to need to look at is the indole test. As you can see, and as indole test results, we're negative. So we're going to go back to the flow chart and we're going to go to the negative. On the left is positive, on the right is negative. That brings us to the urease test. Flip back to the results, and a urease test shows negative results. So we're going to go to the right again. That brings us to the motility test. And as motility test shows a positive result. So here's the first positive we've come to. So motility, positive is on the left. That takes us to our last and final test, her H2S test. Her H2S test actually has two parts. Her H2S test has a negative and positive for the initial results, and then it says if negative, then you need to look at the pigmentation or the color that the bacteria was when you grew it on the plate. Her H2S test is negative, but the color from our plate was a light pink. That's the color that the bacteria grew. So if we come down to the third and final flow chart, we have a negative test with a red or pinkish pigmentation, which brings us to the Serratia marcescens genus and species in the family of Enterobacteriaceae. So let's summarize. According to the plates that we did in 513, we grew on the auger plates. Anna's colony morphology showed small and irregular colonies with a raised elevation that looked slightly reddish pink. Using the gram staining results that we did in activity 514, we found that Anna's gram stain showed negative pinkish red colored bacteria. That along with the biochemical tests, the last six that we just went over, it led us to believe and to confirm 
that Anna's urinary tract infection was indeed caused by the bacteria Serratia marcescens. Please open up your 511 medical history and add those three pieces of information, her morphology, her gram results, and her biochemical test results to the medical history and summarize your findings about Anna Garcia's urinary tract infection being caused by Serratia marcescens. And that's the end of activity 515, biochemical tests.